want to just talk about what I built here. And this is a very, I would say, very bare bones model of something that you could actually extend um, and turn into something very cool. But I'm showing it to you as its mm -hmm. bare bones form because it really demonstrates the different um, pieces of the skeleton of how to build this. So basically, I have a set of data. I call this original data. I probably should call it raw data, but call it what have you. Um, you know, we have these different records here, and then we have a series of numbers. We're assuming that these are pieces of data that we're interested in. And then I also have a chart over here, and I only want to show one of these data items at a time. So I have this lookup, which I turn into a drop-down box, and then I can select what I'm interested in. It's going to pull it from the top, and it's going to show it on this chart. So this is actually um, a fairly uncomplicated mechanism. I think a lot of people are shocked when you show them that you can do this with formulas um, rather than VBA, and it's obviously faster. Um, and more desirable, I think, to use formulas, since you can indeed click on this and you see it pulls from here, which if you click on this, um, you see that it pulls from the top. So at every step in the way, we see that this data is alive. If I change this back end data, it's going to be ramified up through the front. And of course, in this construction, if I have a problem, let's say I see there's an error on my chart, I can go back to this sort of intermediate spot and say, um, See if an error exists there. If it exists there, we know it's pulling from here. If it doesn't exist here, we know that we've determined that the error is, in fact, uh, residing in the chart. So that's all incidental to how to build this, but that's why I like this construction over VBA. So let's talk about how to build this. So um, I'm just going to delete a few items, uh, make this... Uh, make, uh, Jordan? Make this... Yes? Can you make it bigger? I'm sorry. I can. I can. No, that's just no problem at all. Thank you. This is, this is common when I teach to there. I always say, oh, can I make it bigger? So, okay, so um, we will, we'll make it bigger so everyone can see. So mm -hmm. what I'm going to first do is I'm going to delete some of this stuff just so we can uh, see it and rebuild it um, in action. So the first thing I'm going to do here is that we have this lookup. See, um, this looks up this data over here. How did I build that? Well, what I did is I selected this. So here, here I have C, D7 is merge cells. Some people say they don't like merged cells. I don't really get it, but I happen to like them. So I click data validation here. You haven't seen it pop up because um, sometimes the screen sharing doesn't show. So I, I guess it's, oh, there it is. Hey, look at that. That's weird. I didn't expect that to happen at all. Um, but basically, do you, guys, do you guys see this data validation at all? No. no, yes, no? OK, I guess it just showed up on my screen. So you don't really see the data validation here, but it's going to bring up a list box, mm -hmm. and we could say allow. Um, the list box. Let me just let's just check this over on the side of mine and see if we can show the right one because I'm not gonna I don't want to waste this. This is good stuff. Okay, yes. so let's just jump back in here. I switch the type of screen share. I'm gonna click data validation. Oh, it doesn't pop up. Well, I don't. We, we always have those issues every once in a while. But if you've ever used data wow. validation before, you know it brings up a list has a data validation mm -hmm. um, drop-down box. You can select the source here. I'm going to select B2 through B4, and I'll hit OK. And that's what's going to inform this. You can see that this is our dropdown. Now, once I have this information from here, I need to figure out where it's located in this list. So I can inform this uh, data region down here, which is ultimately going to feed into our chart. So the easiest way to do that is with the old match function. So we, it wants to know the lookup value. Well, we know what that lookup value is. We specified it over here. Um, we're going to find out where it is. So we want to know where it is within this region here. So that's our lookup array. And we're going to set the match type to zero because we want it to be an exact match. And in fact, we can see, just because it's always good to test, that this does indeed work. So now over on our output, what I'm going to do here is I know the name of the series is always going to be my lookup. So I'll hit equals here. I'll select uh, city 17. Sounds very safe as a city. I guess you could live there if you'd like. Um, we're going to select that. Now we need to figure out what what data comes after that. Now, there's many ways to do this. You can use VLOOKUP. You can use OFFSET, um, OFFSET being probably the most popular one. But I'm going to use INDEX here because I really like INDEX. So the way INDEX works is you supply it an array. I'm going to do that right here. I'm going to hit F4 to lock it in because it's always a good idea to lock things in. Now, it wants to know the row number. Now, what is the row number of the uh, item we're interested in? Well, it's going to be given by this match location, which, as you recall, matches this within this range. So that row number. Um, in this case, is going to be this match location. So finally, wants to know the column number. Well, since we're going to pick one, two, three, four, five, you know, we're trying to figure out the intersection. Um, so this is row two, item one. We'll just select this here because I've already put this one through nine up here, and that'll pull the data accordingly. So before we close out that parenthesis, what we need to do is lock this into place. Otherwise, if I drag, 
it wouldn't show up correctly. So I'm going to hit enter here. I'm going to drag across. Ignore this chart over here on the right for a moment. We'll get to that. But I just want to show you that I've selected city 17. Here it says 674. Come up here, 674 forward. We see that the data is, in fact, aligned. So we do know that this is pulling the right data. We can see it doing that here. Now, all we need to do here is feed this information into a chart. Now, I already have that set up, but let's assume that we don't have it set up because that's, you know, sometimes it's more fun not to have things set up. So I'm going to right click as I've done here. I'll click select data. You can't see the drop down or the dialog box because sometimes Google does that, but it's not too hard. There's a box on the left that says add. We're going to add um, the series values, which are going to be these items right here, which we've already um, dealt with. We'll hit OK. We'll hit OK again, and you can see that this chart has been made. Now, let's say you have a chart title here, and it isn't set like the one I have here. Um, I'm just going to hit delete on that. So now it just says region A, and if I change it, it's, it shouldn't change with it. We can see this. Well, I guess it did change. Well, I didn't delete it entirely, but I'll show you how to do this, because this, as you might recall, when Minda Tracy was on, she clicked on that title, and then you can set that title equal to any cell. So I'll hit enter here. So here it's equal to Mars, City 17, Region A. Now, if you come from a default chart, you're going to have to do that. So this is how to create um, a lookup type pattern on your uh, on your spreadsheet or your dashboard. So let me jump back. I feel like I went through that very quickly. A lot of a lot of, <laughs> a lot of right. dumb jokes. Thank you. Thank you. Very cool. All right. All right. So I will give that four srirachas because it's Only it's four. it's huh? Only you no, say? I'm fine with four. Four is fine. Okay, all right, yeah. Doesn't sound like you're fine with that. Doesn't sound like you're fine with that. No, it doesn't. It sounds <laughs> no, like you want to give me a knuckle four. sandwich. I'll just remember four srirachas. All right, I'm just gonna remember that. You put four srirachas, I'll remember. Well, we'll see. Okay, all right. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> I see it as, as a way of, of keeping things concise, keeping things clean. And a big thing that, that I sometimes ask people when they've got so much data, say, do you need this hanging out all the time? No, or do you want to see what you want to see when you want to see it? Okay, so then they make a decision. Okay, no, I don't need all this hanging out all the time. So that that is really good, really useful.